Okay guys, let's go ahead and make this video as simple as possible. Anybody having uh, trouble logging into their profiles on Windows 10 or 7 or 8 laptop, desktop, or in this case, it's going to be a Surface 3 tablet with Windows 10. I'm going to show you guys how to change your passcode so that you guys can have access to your profile. Save all your documents, your data, whatever it is you need to do. You're going to need a flash drive. The one I'm using is about 4 gigs, so you don't need anything bigger than that for this to work. The folder that you will be downloading already has everything that you need, but if you guys want to download this right here, which is something we're going to be using to create our bootable uh, USB, it's called Rufus. You can just scroll down and click on the 13, I'm sorry, the 3.13 file, and it'll go ahead and download it and install it. Okay, or right, run it when you're ready. This is going to be the URL that I have. I will put this in the description. It will be in the description for maybe one or two weeks. After that, I will delete it. And if you're watching this video after that period, find me on Instagram, follow me on there, and then message me. I'm no longer putting uh, links for a long period of time in my videos because I keep getting my videos deleted. So that's that. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm not going to download it all the way because I already have it. As you can see, as soon as you type it in there and hit enter, it's going to automatically download. So we'll go ahead and click this out and get out of here. Click on your little folder if you're on Windows 10. Go down to the downloads. You're going to see my folder. Click on it. And all you want to do is highlight this and then just drag it over to your desktop. And we'll go ahead and let that copy over. Now, once that's done copying over to your desktop, all you're going to do is click on this Rufus and then just click on run. Let that thing load up for a second. Click yes. All right, guys. So whenever you double click this Rufus app, you're going to get a pop up and it's going to say, do you want to allow the app to make changes to your device? I don't think you can see that when I'm recording, but, um, you know, I'm just letting you guys know what you're going to see. So after that, you're going to see this little window right here. So all you're going to have to do is click where it says select. And then you won't see it here. I was just in the folder. So you, that's why mine looks like that. But just go to desktop because that's where we extracted the, uh, the folder and you can click on software. And then you're going to click on this ISO. Go ahead and click open once you click on the ISO. And you're going to see it right here where it says boot selection. It should say ISO.ISO. All the other settings you can leave them as is and just go ahead and click start. This will pretty much uh, tell you what it's going to do. It's okay just to go ahead and write in ISO image mode recommended. Go ahead and click OK. And then right here, it's pretty much just telling you that you're going to be losing all the data on your flash drive. So at this point, if there's anything important in your flash drive, make sure you uh, back it up or throw it on your desktop, whatever you have to do to save your documents that are in there, any kind of data. If everything's good for you, go ahead and click OK and let the process begin. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video real quick. It doesn't take very long, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it anyways. And once it's complete, you're going to see that little pop-up you've seen on my right-hand side, lower screen, saying that the bootable was pretty much made. Um, your status bar right here is going to be green and it's going to say ready. So we can go ahead and close this out and you can go ahead and exit this out as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and merge um, these videos that I just made on my computer along with the one I made off my phone. So I was doing it one-handed, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. I was in the middle of a repair, and uh, he called me saying he wanted to pick up the tablet, so I had to hurry up and record it so I could show you guys how to do this in the first place. So, yeah, just bear with me. And then uh, for anybody who's doing this on a laptop or a desktop, um, figure out what you're going to have to do to change into your BIOS settings or uh, just to boot into your USB drive from the get-go. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, you can just go to the uh, power button. I'll show you guys on this one real quick. You're going to want to click on power, hold down your shift key, and then click restart and keep holding down that shift key until you reboot and you should see the option to uh, boot from the USB. I'll go ahead and put some of that stuff in the description for different models, different brand laptops and desktops to help you guys out if you do not know how to boot from a USB, but hopefully everybody you know, can figure that out. But for the next part of the video, I will be performing this um, password change on a Surface 3 uh, Windows 10 tablet. I did mention that this will work on a PC or laptop, so I'm going to go ahead and backtrack and show you guys and add this into the video. So I'm on Windows 10 and I'm going to show you guys that my USB is connected to my um, Lenovo desktop real quick. So what I'm going to do, my password right now is 1234 and I'm going to hit enter and show you guys that it's actually going to log in. 
And as soon as this thing logs in, I'll go ahead and shut down and we'll boot from the USB. Depending on how you install Windows, if you installed Windows um, legacy mode, you're gonna have to use your F uh, keys in order to boot into USB. But if you did a, a regular Windows 10 install, holding down your shift key and uh, clicking on restart will get you to do the same menu. Okay guys, so like I was mentioning earlier, if you go down to your little um, Windows logo right here and you click on it, if you install Windows 10 with the upgrade, you could just actually hold down your shift key and then you're gonna do, click on power and then restart and that'll get you into the boot from the USB settings. But for me, since I went ahead and installed it in a legacy mode, I'm gonna go ahead and just shut this thing all the way down and I'll restart it and boot from my USB. All right guys, so for me, I'm gonna have to hit FN and F12 to boot into my USB. So for me, I'm gonna have to choose on this option right here. And again, the only reason I have to do it this way is because I installed Windows 10 in legacy mode. So I have to do my FN keys. And for anybody else who installed um, Windows 10 as an upgrade, you should be able to just do restart by holding down your shift key and you should get into that USB menu. So we'll go ahead and let this load up. Once you see the screen pop up, you're gonna make sure to make sure you click on your Windows 10 here. Click on reset your passcode. You can actually add or remove uh, some user accounts if you need to. Click on next and click on the user profile, which for me is gonna be this one. My password was 1234, so now I'm gonna change it to 4321, just like that. And I'm gonna click on next. And it says reboot. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is shut my computer all the way down um, because if I don't, my USB is going to take priority to boot. But for most of you guys, you can just hit reboot and you should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and um, click reboot. And then I'm going to hit restart now, but I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing completely down. I'm going to pull my USB out. And hit start. Technically, you're not supposed to do that, but the way my computer is set up, I have to do that. So we're just going to wait for the confirmation. You should see a box pop up saying that the changes have taken effect. Key to skip the disk check. Once this loads up, you'll get another confirmation box saying congratulations. So once you see this box, you are good. We'll go ahead and just let this finish loading up real quick since my mouse still isn't responding. So once everything's good, your mouse is responding again, just hit on okay right here. We're gonna go ahead and log into my account so that this thing loads up. So again, I'll change my password to 4321, previously as 1234. Hit enter and we're logged in. So that's for the PC. I'm gonna go ahead and merge this video now, like I said earlier, with the video that I created for the Surface 3 tablet. All right guys, so I went ahead and jumped on this Surface 3 tablet where I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to just put some random characters in here just so you guys can see that there is indeed a password associated with my test account that I created for you guys to watch. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and type in my passcode, which is U2 for this specific user account. And as soon as I get logged in here, we'll go ahead and shut this thing down. So I went ahead and logged in and we'll go ahead and shut this thing down. And we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing that we did on the PC. The only difference is booting into the USB on a Surface 3. There's two buttons you're going to be you know, holding down. I have my USB already inserted. You're going to hold down the volume down key, which is right here. And then the power button on the left side, you're going to hold that thing down for about two seconds. So USB is inserted, hold down your volume down key. And then hold down your power button for about two seconds, release the power button, but hold on to the volume down key. You just see the surface on your screen and then it's going to boot into the USB. So once you see this screen right here, you can go ahead and hit any key. And it's going to go ahead and start booting into your USB that we just created on the PC earlier.
once this is actually all the way booted, you're going to see the exact same screen that we saw on the PC as well. First, it's going to boot into Windows, and then you're going to see the same screen. From here, it's very important. If you do not click Windows, you're going to see this error. If you click on Next, you're going to make sure you have to verify what Windows you want to mess with. So once you click on that one, you want to choose your user account, which is the target of the password you're trying to clear or change. So for me, it's going to be that build one right there is actually the previous owner. And then the test account is the one that I'm going to uh, clear out. So just like on the PC right here, I'm going to go ahead and change the password to 1234. And then click Next. It doesn't take very long. As soon as you do it, it's like within seconds, you can go ahead and reboot. Restart your device. And you will be greeted with the same box, pretty much the exact same thing that you did on the PC. So we'll go ahead and let this thing load up. You're going to see your Windows 10 logo. And then you're going to see that congratulations box. Pretty much just letting you know that the password change was effective. That's the box that we're looking for. If you see that, you know you're in good shape. We'll go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in some random characters just so you know that this thing is still password protected. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the password that I changed it to, which is 1234. Go ahead and sign in. And you're logged in. And that's it.